Hi you guys, so this is going to be a Kenya doll haul. So I have three different um, Kenya dolls. I bought two of them from uh, Family Doll, which I told you was discounted. And I ordered one from uh, Kmart.com. Um, so I'll show you that in a few minutes. And the one that I ordered from Kmart is the um, is the old Kenya baby dolls that they used to sell a long time ago. Like 19, like Tyco used to do them. And they were um, the vintage Kenya dolls. But it's like a reproduction, you know, they do the vintage repos or whatever. And I have two that I bought from the Emily doll. So I'm going to start with the first one. And this is called Kenya's Fireside Chatting. So this was meant to be like more so winter Kenya. Instead of just selling the outfits, they sell a doll with the outfits apparently. Because I haven't seen any Kenya doll outfits. You see all my Kenya dolls right there? Now you can see them, they all lined up pretty cool, huh? So this one, this one's called Kenya Fireside Chatting, and now this one was um originally it was twenty dollars at Family Dollar, but I got it um for a clearance on ten dollars. So you can get them half off at Family Dollar. You can check it like I did say in my last year, You need to check your Family Dollar because they do have the same dolls that Toys R Us carries. They have them for ten dollars at Family Dollar. So um, and th this is the one that says Fireside Chatting. Kenya. So this is like she's sitting around a fireplace trying to keep them warm and different things like that. This is the deluxe version too with the articulation. I'm sorry guys. So um this is the fireside chat in Kenya. And this is a doll right here. Very pretty. And you're getting a glare of my phone. You can see my phone in the background. As you can see she is articulated. And she's got these wintry boots on and very fur happening shoes, leggings. It's like a full bodysuit with um fur, false fur of course. She's got these little sunglasses on the top. Um so and like I said before, she does. They all have the same generic background, um same sun. And this is Kenya's Fashion Madness line up down here. You can see that. So this is the Kenya's Fashion Madness line. So yeah. So for some reason, sometimes I have really crappy video quality. So sorry about that. But this one looked pretty clear. So. So I'm going to get her open and I'm going to come right back so I can review her and you can see how awesome she looks. She looks like she's dressed for winter time, which I would imagine they release these for December. December, so. we get her open and I'm going to come right back, okay? Hold on. And Okay, so this is a Kenyan doll. Now she's so dressed for winter time. Um, she's got a little box here. I guess from me and in the box for so long. I'm guessing she's been in there since December of this year. Or even the year before, so. This is a Kenyan doll right here. Look how cute. And she's got little diamond earrings right here. You can see them. They're kind of sm smashed, but she does have them. And she's got this fox fur winter hat. And it's got these little sunglasses. Really cute. And this is a one-piece jumpsuit. So this is all one piece. Um, and it's got a little sweatshirt. Very cottony material. This is the same fox fur they sell at um, Michael's and Joanne's that that craft fur if you know what I'm talking about and she's got boots on which are really cute they're just glued on things they do not come off no these are sewn on around the uh, around the doll so this makes awesome collector stuff you see that it's all the way completely around I would not imagine this coming off yeah they have it glued on right here on the bottom Everything is glued solid. It's sealed all around so this cannot come off. But this is really good for collectors that don't change and dress their dolls. And this is awesome. And then we talk about the hair. Look how it's kinky and it's curly and it's wavy. All in one. It's got a little bit of smash box hair but it's really cute though. It's got really kinky hair though. You just gotta fluff it up. They all have this kind of type of box hair but you just, you just zhuzh it a little bit and kind of you know, get all, like you say, see, see what that does, you just kind of fluff it up a little bit, and all, and all the hair just lays, and it's really, really curly, and bushy, and awesome, and I love it, hashtag, um, Kenya's World on Twitter, that's their, um, thing, uh, it's called, at Kenya's World, and you can find your, your, um, their Twitter page, and, um, she does, she is fully articulated, like the last one, you can see, she bends at the elbows, and bends at the wrist, which is really cool. And she bends at the knees. She doesn't have the Barbie click knees, but she does have the articulation in the knees, as you can see in my last video where they actually had shorts on and you can see the um the articulation and everything like that. 
I mean, she is just ready for like fireplace, sitting down with the Tom, kinky hair. I mean, I love all this hair, don't you? It's really bushy and curly, and it's beautiful. I love this kind of dolls. So um, I'd, I'd give her maybe a 9 out of 10. She's just really awesome. I'm not giving her a 10 because you can't take off the shoes. I don't like how they glued this on like completely around the boots. Like you can't take none of this off. This is a one piece jumpsuit that does not come off in any kind of way. Even the bows. Everything's sewn onto the doll. So there's no way or how you could actually take this outfit off. So from a collector's standpoint this is good. But for people that like to play with dolls and like to undress them. This doll you will not be able to do that. I find that this doll was differently packaged too. They actually had ribbons around her ankles. That um, tied her ankles with the newer versions. They do have elastic, so this must have been in a promo um, before they got it just right. But um, so yeah. So this is this one. I think she's very cute. Like this video if you like any of these dolls down below. This will be a three-part thing, so I'll do this one and then I'll do the next one and then I'll, I'll do the next one. I'll try to get through this video so it's not like 30 or 45 minutes long, but we'll see how what happens. So this is just all got it from um Family Dollar for clearance on for um ten bucks. As you can see, they do sell them at Family Dollar, and she does come with her generic booklet that they all come with the Kenya Fashion Madness line, which is what these dolls are and what all of them dolls, except for that one, the lemon one is it was a non-dollar version, and the rest of them are, are from the Kenya Fashion Madness line up there. And I'll be adding her to my collection. You'll always see her in the background. So probably be the last time you see her to you guys. So. Enjoy it while you can. All this fluff is happening. Just a lots and lots of fluff. I would not recommend you brush curly hair regardless. Because I don't brush. Um, if it's kinky or if it's wavy or if it's any kind of type of curl to it. It just becomes a bush. So I would recommend you not brush this doll's hair. No matter how tempting it is. If the doll has straighter hair. Then you can just brush it away. You know. But the curly kinky hair. I would not recommend you brush this type of um, hair. It's just. It would be a hot mess. It's, it's pretty right now, but like later on, it would be a hot mess. So, yeah. So, this is the Wintertime Kenya doll, and she is called Kenya Fireside Chatting. That's the, that's the name of the doll, Kenya Fireside Chatting. And here's one last look at the doll. If you didn't see her, a good view of her. She's got little fur boots, very cute. And this is the back end of it. As you can see, it is tied with a ribbon all the way around. And she's got all this fluffy hair. So, that's this one right here. Now I'll be adding her to my collection and you will see her in the future videos back there. I have a knife in my hand because she had um, ribbons or something tied around here. We're going to get on to the next doll now. Okay, this next doll, if you remember me pointing out the blue one with the blue outfit with the polka dots and the chains and everything. This is this doll. I bought it because she was discounted. Otherwise, I wouldn't pay you no know, 20 $19.99 for a doll that I didn't like. But I would buy her on clearance to add to my collection, which was this one too. This one's the one that I didn't really care for, but it was clearance, so I definitely would, would, would uh, recommend you pick them up from Family Dollar. If they're clearance and you don't really like them, but you bought them to add to your collection. I do like them. Only if I like them even more if they were clearance. So, um, I'm opening the box. I'm going to show you the doll. Okay, let me show you the doll first. <laughs> Sorry. So, this is the one with the blue outfit, and she's got little chains and things like that. She's got a material purse right there. And she is fully articulated. And there's her boots. Oh, she's got like high heels right there. You could see that. And she's got the same hair texture, which is that curly, kinky hair. She's got all of them have that generic earring right there. Oh no, she's different, love. No, you see the earrings, you guys. All of them have these like little hoopy earrings things like that. All of my kinky dolls have that. This is the only one that I've seen so far that does not have that doll. So she does have negligee right here, and it's like silvery type things you can see it she's she wears um yeah it's shorts or capris or whatever you want to call it um and this is like so 1990s um clueless right here if you know the movie clueless she looks just like the girls in clueless with that big old hat and like this is so 1990s you guys so she does have the same generic back like they all do and i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna open her real quick so you can see get a um, better view of her Opening my boxes. Ooh. I don't throw shit because I got stuff back here. That's crazy. I would never throw anything. So, bleh. let me show you the um the actual on the ribbon. See, 
This must have been an older model. That's why they were at Family Dollar. And this is, I guess, before they got it 100% right. Which, in the future models, they do have title and elastics. And they did change the earrings out with, with the um, hoops. So I just wanted to clarify that. They do have the um, elastics right there, but not at the bottom. Which, okay. Just wanted to show you that real quick. Okay, now this doll is called Kenya Beverly Hills. Now this doll is, has a straighter hair. It's it, she's a brunette. She's not a um like black, dark black. She is a brunette, but she still is just as beautiful. And now these two dolls both come with um the hats are not removable. They definitely glued it on or could jingered it to her head. The purse is like pretty much stuck on in. But this is really good to collect. So that's really good that they attach this the uh, accessories onto the dolls. In my opinion. But if you like to play with these, these two dolls, I would not recommend if you would, you would like to undress them and dress them. These are not the kind of dolls to do that with. Um, so let's take a look at this doll. Now this one has different earrings. You can see them right there. They all gone woo, crazy all the way up in her hair. And this is straight out the box. She does have like a polka dot thing right there on her chain. This chain sewn on, so is this. Um, she's wearing like a sweater dress. And a pair of shorts, which is a weird design I found. Um, she is articulated in the, in the lace. She does come with a pair of um, generic pumps. Very cute. And she comes with this really pretty purse. This purse is kajinkered onto her um, jacket. It may have a little ruffle detail on it right here. To me, this is a better quality purse than the plastic pink ones. I did pick them up. I have, I keep all my little doll accessories in, in a bag, and I have them in a big bag, I'll show you that one day. Um, let's take a look at the hair too, the hair is a more wavier texture. You can see it's like a, like coiled, but just slightly, but not as tight as the ringlets, I'm going to show you the difference. See, this one's like more of a kinky hair, and this is more like a body wave type curl. Just very, very pretty. Very straight very somewhat wavy texture to it and like the other one she is articulated in the, in the elbows and in the arms yeah, in the arms and in the yeah, in the hands sorry you guys like I said you see it doesn't come off so this is permanently attached to her head that way her accessories do not get lost which is intended I guess for younger children so that way they won't swallow things this is attached but I would think that they would swallow that some kind of way. They would find out how to get that bead off of this. So I wouldn't recommend this for younger children, of course. And you have a lot of um, baby dolls for little little girls, like two or three year olds. I have that down there, and I'll be reviewing that next. So um, this is this one. It's very polka dotty, very jackety. Lots of jacket and lots of polka dots to have. And she does have a very slightly waved hair. Now, if you were wondering about this and you've seen this at Toys R Us, I'm telling you what it looks like and what things you could do with it. Um, she is articulated. Her head does pivot to it. I never did show you that, but it goes side to side. Up and down, you know, like this. Very minimal articulation in the hands. That's her earrings right there. Her earrings have always just, just been little wires and little dangles just stuck on it. Just really cute. So yeah, I'm gonna add her to my collection. I think she's beautiful. I love fashion dolls. I collect these like crazy. And this is called the Kenya Beverly Hills doll. And she was at Family Dollar for a mere ten dollars. You can definitely afford this doll for ten bucks. I mean, the clothes might be not be able to come off, but you're getting a good quality product and a good quality doll, complete with accessories, jewelry, and shoes and articulation, so she could sit, stand, and bend. And she can pose, do whatever you want with her. See? So I can bend her elbows. Maybe you can go up. Let's see. You can see how she does have articulated limbs. See? And she's got articulation in the wrist, which is what Barbie's doing right now. And Barbie's doing the same thing. So this is basically an awesome, better version of Barbie. In my opinion, because she's completely different than any other Barbie I've ever had in my life. So this is this one, and I think she's very pretty and very... See how, see how the hair is just relaxed into this type of wave pattern right here? It's very cute and very pretty.
I highly recommend these two dolls, even though they're not, they don't have remov removable clothing. They are perfect for young, younger kids because the accessories do not come off. So they're actually permanently attached to the doll. The boots don't come off. So I'd recommend you get these from Family Doll. They're very cute dolls. Whatever your preference is, you can have a straighter hair doll. You can have a textured hair doll. You can have a more of a poofy hair type doll. And I think they're all just as great. And these are both Kenyan dolls. And these are from the Fashion Madness line. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you the next doll, you guys. These are, this is definitely not on a 10. I, only, I didn't give it a 10 because you can't remove the accessories. So I will give it a perfect 10 if you could remove the accessories. But they're still very cute dolls. So these are both from Family Doll. And they were only $10 discounted. And they both came with their little fashion booklets right here. Both generic um, Kenya booklets. So yeah, so I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you the next doll. So yeah, I kind of just organize them. I'm still going to move them around a little bit because I still don't like their position because they might fall. Maybe some time during this video. So we're going to move on to the next doll. Now this is for three plus. This is more meant for a younger generation for girls that swallow things and like to put things in their mouth. This is uh, recommended for three plus and the girl looks to be about maybe four or five years old and this is a hairstyling doll this is kenya's um kenya classic kenya is back music maker kenya style her hair with magic hair lotion so they, they include a hair oil to put in the doll which i won't be doing because i don't put lotions and things in synthetic hair because i plan on collecting her but i will show you the accessories that it does come with and what it's supposedly do with the magic hair lotion that they do include with their doll. This is on um, the Kenya Music Maker doll. I don't know why they call that, but she's maybe a music maker. I don't know. And this is the doll right here. And she is all vinyl, it seems to be. We'll see when we open her up. And I bought her from um, Kmart.com. So you can check your local Kmart and Toys R Us. They are very scarce to find these things in many stores, so what you get is what you get. I mean, they don't have many of them in stores at Kmart, Walmart, CVS. They don't carry none of this. So your best bet is to order this this type of doll online. But the Fashion Madness collection is available at Family Dolly and Toys R Us. So you might want to check out them stores to find them the Fashion Madness line up there. This one I ordered from uh, Kmart.com. They have two hair rollers and some beads and some rubber bands, uh, comb, a styling booklet, and there's the hair lotion for this hair, which I don't think I'm going to be greasing her hair down anytime soon, I will be collecting her, she's like so, this is a music maker one too, she is wearing a, maybe she's like a performer type outfit, she's got these little fringy boots on right here, which remind me of the Michaels boots, that the Springfield Michael boots, they, had, they look very similar to this. We'll see when we get her open. And um, this is called the Kenya Music Maker doll. And it is available for three plus. And the, the Kenya's Friendship Club.com, they have a link to their website right here. You can pause it if you want to go to their website. There it is. Kenya's Friendship Club.com. I'll leave the link down below to their website so that way you could purchase these dolls plus many more. Or you could just check your local Kmart, you know, whatever you feel comfortable doing. So, yeah. I'm going to get her open and I'm going to come right back. Okay, you guys? So, hold on. wanted to show you the packaging real fast. She was basically just slipped in there with four pieces of tape on there, which was basically holding her body in. She is packaged with palm um, tie-ups. So, yeah. Very minimal packaging. Very clear packaging, you can see. It is very different um, than the Springfield boots. It is material suede type boots you can see that i just want to show you this real quick before i open her so hold on guys okay now let's take a look at this king and on us this is recommended for three plus so it means ages three ages three and older i guess we'll look at the doll first and then i'll tell you about the hair lotion because i did read over the uh, booklet and it says what it's supposed to do for this doll in terms of um doing the hair so this is the Kenya doll right here. She's got like a little braid thing happening right here. Just really, really cute doll. Watch. Why are you doing that, ghost? Okay, there you go. This is her cute little face. And she's got all this voluminous, 
curls happening right now, just very kinky type curl pattern. You can see it's very kinky and very corally. And she's got two little braids right in the very front, which is, is what I think is really cute. And this right here, this is felt. This is a very felt material. Um, and this is, I guess it's supposed to be like a showtime, like Kenya's like a rock star. So she's got to have this ball and outfit on. This is like a polyester nylon. And she's got like little leggings with the stretch paints, I think it is. Yeah, this is a stretch paint thing. Sorry about that. So she is wearing stretch paints type thing. She's not wearing anything like fancy or anything like that. These are leggings. Very thin leggings. These are boots right here. Now this is like a suede. I think this is like a false leather material. It does come with a zipper. See that? You do have two zippers in the back for the doll to put on and off the shoes. So yeah. And it's very kinky and very curly. So this is very, very curly, curly hair. Let's go over the accessories now. I'm going to first tell you about the magic hair lotion. Now what you're supposed to do with this magic hair lotion is apply a few drops in your doll's hair with the section that you're working on. And as you're combing it through, the magic hair lotion is supposed to straighten the doll's hair. So that way you can work with it. Because I would imagine you brushing curly hair and it would be a hot mess. But this magic lotion right here, Kenya's magic uh, hair lotion, um, is full to the top. Mm, not really, it's almost full. It's like a jelly substance. And it has an expiration date 2013. But So what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to straighten your hair, like the doll synthetic hair, to where you can actually get a comb through it, because you really don't want to brush curly hair too much. That way you can, um, you can braid it, and you can put like little beads and accessories like this one. Let me see if I can get a close up on that. Um, yeah, you see that? It comes with a few beads and things like that. That way you can plait the hair and you can put the little elastics and colored rubber bands at the bottom. Now, with the magic hair lotion that you are getting, you, you apply it through the sections and you're supposed to roll the hair up and you let it set overnight. And then the next day you take it out and it's going to be really curly. Let me show you some examples of the, um, of the pictures that they showed on the thing. Because it does come with a little booklet. This is Kenya's hairstyling guide. They give you a guidebook. That way it explains everything about the hair lotion and things like that. And um, you can um, read it to your desire. So These are some examples of the hairstyles for this doll that you can do with the help of the magic hair lotion. And you see like you set it in rollers and then the next day you take it out and it's supposed to look like this. So this is basically a, that oil is like a relaxer for the doll hair. That way you can get a comb through it. And it says to wash it every time. Like when you finish it says Kenya's hair needs to be washed regularly just like yours. Shampoo Kenya's hair and rinse to allow the to, rinse and allow to dry overnight. This will help keep Kenya's curls beautiful. For tighter curls, Kenya can be set while wet, still allow for overnight drying. After continuous long-term hair play, Kenya's hair will be less curly than the, the, its original state. So I'm imagining the oil from stretching and pulling up the brushes and th different things like that. She will have a more relaxed look, which in terms will be on even eventually. So I mean. It's a really cute doll. I think it's really cute that they that they provide you with um, different hair tutorials and how to do different hair stylings. You can see that they have the directions on everything and how where to apply the oil when you are styling the hair. And I would imagine that's why they want you to wash the hair because this is very grease, pretty much grease for the hair. That way it doesn't get tangled or matted or anything like that. And um, it does tell you step by step instructions on how to curl her hair and how to set it and you wet dry it and it has brushing instructions everything is included with the stall so you're getting a good quality product from the Kenya people and she does include a headband which is velcroed in the back you can see right there it's velcroed it's conjinkered on both sides right there so that way it doesn't move I think she's very pretty she has little earrings and this stall is all vinyl she's not, there's no plush in here so you can definitely get her wet Definitely, you could um, definitely get this all wet. 
and she is music maker of Kenya. I really would like to collect more, but right now I'm just going to have to wait and pause for a little while to collect these things because these are really expensive. At um, Kmart.com, they have her available for the price of $22.99. So $22.99 is the Kmart price. You can definitely do a price check on Toys R Us, Kmart, um, in your local stores. And they do ship it from Naperville, Illinois. So this called Doll Comes from Naperville, Illinois, from the Kmart uh, warehouse. And it is available for $22.99. So you can get your doll right here for $22.99. It does come with all the directions on how to style all this voluminous hair. I mean, it is like kinky curly. It's kind of like that doll that I just reviewed, that the one in the red right there. This had the same hair texture. It's really, really pretty. And she thinks she no, her eyes do not blink either, so she don't have that sleep eye thing. So, and she is a very, very pretty doll. I highly recommend you get her. Let's see if I can get her. There you go. That's a pretty good picture of her. Her boots are really cute. Everything is really cute on this doll. I'd give this doll definitely ten out of ten. She's got thick, thick rooted hair. She comes with the hair all to um control the frizz and get the hair straight like you want. Like if you want a straighter hair doll, you put the oil in there and you comb it through and it's supposed to straighten up the hair so this is like a chemical to relax this doll's hair now I'm assuming that chemical is safe for children since they're recommended 3 plus and they do recommend you do wash the hair after you finish playing with it because you really don't want oil to be stuck in your doll's hair however I do plan on collecting her so I'm definitely not going to put any type of oil or any type of product in this doll's hair so, I think I'm finished with my review. I'll definitely give it a 10 out of 10. So, if you like this video, and if you like them three dolls, and if you want to see more Kenya doll videos, give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below which one's your favorite, you know? I want to know this one, or the fur, or the, um, or the other one. What was the other one? Oh, that blue, that blue one right there. Yeah, the, the one with the blue thing, the fur. Or this one for $22.99, available at Kmart.com. Um, I'll leave the link down below where this where this doll came from, the website to this doll company. I'll leave the link down below. So anyway, thank you for watching. Just remember to like, rate, and subscribe, and you'll see more doll videos. Thanks. Bye.